Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. Okay, so when me and Fifi were out yesterday, I did some shopping at some Dollar Trees, so I got enough for a big old haul here, so I thought I'd just go ahead and get started on that with you guys. Yeah, if I can get that crazy thing right, I'm not going to fight with this thing the whole time. Okay guys, so I found some wish list items yesterday. I found some things I didn't know existed. And then just some little other cute things along the way. So I'm super excited. Uh, I'm parched, but I'm going to get me a really quick drink of water. Of course, it's a watermelon hint. Yes. Yes. Okay. I've got my big old heart earrings on that I got yesterday. Are those things big or what? Like, I feel like they're going to be in the way for something. Okay, so let's start with some food. Let's just have some food. This is something that I had not seen at Dollar Tree. This is Marzetti brand garlic and butter croutons. Now, I know they've had, like, the Texas brand and one other kind before, but I had never seen the Marzetti kind there before, at least in mine. I don't know if it was new or not. I mean, I knew I had never seen it, but other people may have seen it. I don't know. Is it is it coming out new? Um, garlic and butter flavored croutons. It says bursting with baked in flavor and a little add a little while to your salad. These are five ounce bags, so they're pretty heavy. Um, as long as you use them, use them by July of this year. Doesn't give too much time, but like we do a lot of salads around here. I should probably stay away from them. But if I'm just eating every other day and I want a few croutons, I'm going to go ahead and toss them on there just, just because. So, yeah. I went ahead and grabbed those. And then this was a wish list item. These are the water bottles. They had, I think, blue, green, pink, and purple that I remember. I'm not sure if they had a clear or a gray. I'm not 100% sure. They are BPA-free. But what I like about these bottles is they have a silicone top right here on them so it's really cool silicone which makes it super easy to take off and wash you know just if you just want to you know don't want to wash your bo water bottle every single time you can fill it up with water but would like to wash this especially if you're like me and you wear a lot of lipstick all the time like these mouthpieces can get kind of credit up and I don't wash my water bottle every single time I fill it up that's just, you know, I just don't. I have a gallon jug and I, you know, keep refilling and that just makes it a little bit easier. So I got me a purple one. I got my hubby a blue one. Hopefully, like right now he's using this one that I got from Dollar Tree. So, I mean, he's, he's fine with it. But I may switch it out, you know, in a few weeks or something with this blue one. So that was definitely wish list items. And then... Oh, I to go post office was in there. Okay, not the post office. Not the post office. Okay. I found some cute squishies. Now, these are squishies I have personally never seen before, and they are absolutely fabulous. So, it's just a Greenbrier product, but let's see. They have prints on them. So, this is a cow or a bull, whatever, and it has little dinosaurs and leaves on it, and... They are very good squishies. Like, I love a good squishy. Haven't had a good squishy in a long time. Um, so this is a monkey, and it has little ice cream. Oh, yeah, just different ice creams on it. So it's just a cute little monkey. These would be great for little Easter basket stuffers or just, you know, keep one for yourself for sure. Keep one for yourself or, you know, whatevs. And then, I'll, I'm saving my favorite to last. This right here is just a little unicorn. And it has unicorns. It even has cups of coffee. Okay? Cups of coffee. Boom, baby. Right there. Cups of coffee. Balloons. A candle. A birthday present. A little unicorn. Yes. Here's my fave. This one is fantabulous. This one is a little elephant. Would you look at that little elephant? It has, let's see, it has... What is this on here? I, uh, okay. This looks like some kids going down a roller coaster. I really have no clue. It looks like a castle. 
bumper car. So this may be like carnival related. But I just think he's so cute. Look at that. I love it. An elephant. So cute. Look at his little trunk. How adorbs. I love that. So I got all four of them. And then they had some new puzzles. So I'm a sucker for puzzles. Even though I don't hardly ever work them. But it's on my list to work some puzzles. Let me just say. I mean my bucket list. Like when I get caught up with doing everything else, I'm going to sit down and work a puzzle, okay? I'm going to. i got a big stack, believe me. But this one, it just says Lovely Tail. It's a 48-piece, which is pretty easy. You know, it's not going to take you all day. You know, just, just 15, 20 minutes, you got that bad boy worked. But look at that unicorn. Is it cute or what? Look at that. It's just got the cute little longest neck. And here's what the puzzle looks like when it's all done. But I love that. I love anything that looks unique. And, like, look at his horn, baby. Boom, baby. That's a spear. <laughs> I love it, though. And his hair. I mean, her her hair. I don't know. She's got flowers on her hair. She's just, she's just fab. Like, absolutely. And then this one is really cool, too. It is just an open book right here. And then it has, like, all of the fantasy things coming out of it has like a unicorn, a couple of unicorns it looks like, and it has like, let me just show you the back, because that's where you're really going to see it. Look, see the moon and the sun and the stars, that is right up my alley. It's only a 24 piece though, I wish this thing was bigger, because it's, it's just pretty cool. I mean, even after I get it put together, I might just frame it, I don't know, like, I just feel like that picture is fantabulous, because... First of all, books, you know, can take you anywhere. Like, that, that is just showing how books can open up a whole new world. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you are bedridden or never get out of the house or, or you know, just, there's all kinds of, of things. Never get to travel. If you can read, baby, you can go anywhere in the world. And it's just exciting because it's, it's a good time. It can be a good time, you know? Lead a double life. Read a book. That's my quote of the day. <laughs> and this one, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Is this fabulous or what? Look at that. It's a sugar skull. It's probably Day of the Dead. I don't know if they have, like, specific names. First of all, these are, well, it says Greenbrier, but on the bottom it says Spin Master. Greenbrier is trying to spin it up a little bit, I feel like. But this is the what it looks like. Look how cute that is. I love that one. Day of the Dead, 48 piece. So look at her rings. Pretty darn cool. Speaking of rings, I ordered this from the Home Shopping Network years ago. And I'm like, I'm never going to get to wear that. It's, what a shame. But now I can wear it and not even look silly. It's just like my normal attire, right? But anyway, yes, there's that one. Okay, next. Let's do this Boro, but not Boro, okay? Boro, but not Boro. It's TP, but it's it's a wish list. Can you believe TP is a wish list? I mean, it has been definitely in the past. Like when they had the big rolls, I guess those are gone for good, but I guess I got my share of them. But anyway, this is uh, the regular strong and soft tissue paper, and it has a lavender scented tube. Now, I've seen this in like Charmin or Angel Soft or one of them had the eight lavender scented, scented tube, and I always thought it was the coolest thing, and it smelled good. And actually, when I got in my car, this, my car smelled really good, and I think it, it's either from this or the air freshener I bought yesterday, but yeah, what a good deal for a buck. It smells really, really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and toss that over. Yes. And then, this is something that I had not seen. This is a mask container, and yeah, so I just like to get like to have these just to maybe give a few masks to my son or something like that. Just where they work out of the home, it's, it would just be a good thing to put some disposable masks in to keep in your car. And this is the first time I'd seen them at my Dollar Tree, so I just swiped one up just just because they're just I, I don't know like I feel like maybe buying five, maybe five packs of those disposable masks and that would be ten masks. 
to put in here. That would just be a good little thing to carry in your car because sometimes, you know, you might forget your mask or have somebody that you have to take somewhere that don't have a mask or forgets their mask or you go somewhere and somebody forgets their mask and can't go in to a store because they don't have a mask. So that's just perfect for that. As I was checking out, I saw this cute little thing. I haven't seen these in a while, so sometimes it makes me wonder if, like, this was, like, lost in the back and they just hung it out. It says L.A. Pop. I haven't seen any more of these, um, um, haul, but I haven't watched a whole lot of hauls late, lately either. I'm just going to open it up. All it is is a reusable shopping bag, like you would take to Aldi or something like that, that don't have bags. So, it's in its own little what you do is you just turn it inside out just like that and this thing is attached so that's a good thing and then and it is wrinkly but I mean you could put quite a few things in here like if you went to Aldi you know so it's just like that I mean they're very wrinkly but you know they're they're wadded up in there they have to be right I love the color that bright orange color is just really pretty so, I always like to have stuff like this. That way you don't have to carry a big old wad of, of bags in with you when you go. So, then when you get done, you just wad it back up like that. Cram it right back in that bag. And do the drawstring up. And boom, baby. You got something very minimal to have to carry around. Yeah. So, there we go. It's an orange, too. So, cute. Super cute. And one of the Dollar Trees I went to still had the 3M packing tape. So I went ahead and got one. Um, I did have to get one of the Greenbrier or Jot products like this the other day, which I don't like whatsoever. But these 3Ms are a lot better. So if you see the 3 m they look pretty much identical. So if you see the 3M, just remember they are the better ones. I hope my lipstick is not like all crazy. I forgot to look before I got on. Okay. And then I grabbed this for Jack, just in case, like, if she's around, well, I'm sure she'll be around. Well, I, she probably won't be playing that, that who knows me best game, but maybe me and her, or her, her and Fifi, you know, it's just somebody could play it, you know, maybe even who knows her best, I don't know. I just think this would be really just cute for her to have if everybody's sitting around with these. She's going to want one, too, even if she just sits there and draws a picture. So, I just went ahead and got that. It's the Trolls one. And then, I found these two, which I'm going to put these up today, because what do I have? Five days till Easter? But these were laying together, and I know I've got the blue one, which I think I gave this one to Fifi that I got. But the pink truck I had not seen. It was the first time I saw it. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this up on my, um, one on my fridge, one on my dishwasher, just... Just to have it. And I would like to let Jack do that, but she don't care nothing about doing stuff like that. I don't know. Like, before she always wanted to, but now it's like all she wants to do is play electronics and stuff. And I don't like it. I don't like it. There's just too much of it. Okay. And then I found some new reusable totes, which is great. Um, my friend Patty texted me and asked me if I had found the B1 because she had found a few and she's going to send me some. And I had not even heard of the B1 or anything. So I said, no, I haven't heard of it. So she's going to send me one. So I found them today and I see the B1 that she's talking about. So I've got Fifi this B1 because she, Fifi likes the B stuff, like B kind and all that. So I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. The guy that checked us out said these bags are going really, really fast. So I feel like I was lucky enough to find it. So, look how beautiful they are, though. I mean, these are some gorgeous bags. They just have, like, little ferns on them. And just that pale pink with the bees on it is just really, really pretty. And then I found, well, what's the side panels? Let me look at the sides. Just, oh, interesting. Very interesting. I was not expecting them. Okay, and then we have this nice, summery-looking orange one. I love orange and yellow colors for the summer. Side panels are orange, so that one's pretty. And then we have this confetti looking. It's sort of like, um, almost like a leopard print, if you look real close. Sort of, but it could also be a field of flowers or something. And the side panels are a really pretty green color. 
And then we have this one right here. This is the last one, and it's a blue, just different floral pattern, and the side panels are blue. So those things are good for many, many, many things. Many, 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 many things, guys. Many things. Okay. So I found some, two packs of stickers, which I may have another pack in there somewhere. But these are not even stickers, to tell you the truth. I got these to send to my friend Patty because um, every time I find the rub-on transfers, I like to send them to her. This one is um, foil rub-on transfers, and it is like food related or dinner related shall I say so they're gold if you can make that out and it has like a dinner place setting there bon appetit one cannot think well love well sleep well if not if one has not dined well heck yeah that's right um, there's all kinds of little sayings on here good friends good foods good times where there is food there is love love at first bite dine I just thought this was really, really pretty, and I love the gold foil look to it. And then this one is not foil. It just says crafts, but this one is really cool. It has like a bottle of perfume, a ring, like a necklace, hairbrush, cowboy boots. It's like a fashion. Beauty is an attitude. Just really, really cool, like a fashion type. Yeah, it's really pretty. Love it. And then I found these, um, I don't know if they're new or not, but they, to me, to, I don't remember these as far as thank you cards or just blank note cards. They have this really pretty one. I love the color and the, the pink, if you can see it, is like a foil. Like there's parts of the pink that is a foil on here. Yeah, I think you can kind of see that. So this is this really pretty, look at the bird, gorgeous. And then this one right here. Now, they usually do have a leopard print one, but this one's different. It has, like, this black stripe up the side, and I'm just really digging it. So, hey, kind of matches, right? I'm just really digging it. I like it. And so I went ahead and grabbed one of those as well. And then I found one book, and I had to get it based on the cover. And then I had Fifi read me the top. The, bot, the the part of the back, so she did. So I like it. Put it in the buggy. So it says, Wild Beauty. Is it beautiful or what? Like, I mean, as far as a book goes, like, it's gorgeous. Wild Beauty. Yeah. It retailed for $24.99. But anyway, it's just, well, wait, what? Okay, now this is weird. Right here it says, US $24.99. You see that? On the inside cover it says $17.99 US. What's that about? Well, oh, never never mind. US is $17.99 on the back too. I'm just absolutely losing it. Losing it. It says, a grab you by the throat tale of love and family. I mean, give me by the throat. Not, not literally. <laughs> Oops, that should not did not come out right. Uh, anyway, let me put this book down. Jeez. Okay. Sometimes I sound myself. All right. Wish list. I got two bags of these. It is the stuffed puffs. Stuffed puffs. Classic milk chocolate. Filled marshmallows, it says, made with real milk chocolate. I would, I would just love to rip one of them open just to look inside, but I won't. You have to have these gone by June of 2021. They feel like if you feel them, you can kind of, like if you squeeze it, I don't know, this one feels kind of hard, but the rest of well, you can kind of feel something firm in the inside. So that's going to be interesting. So stuffed puffs. Have you guys seen these? It says you can roast it, toast it, bake it, melt it, or snack it. Interesting. Very interesting. So, yeah, I got two of them just because I know they will probably fly off the shelves and won't be able to find them anymore. And then this is a new drink I had never seen. This is from Dole. I got this for Jack, um, which I might give it to her dad just because it's a sugar. Um, it just says strawberry lemonade, real lemon and real sugar. 
it looks it's beautiful the color of pink is what got me I'm like what is that and yeah real lemon and real sugar real lemon juice and real sugar makes my mouth water just thinking about lemonade I could make me some like with my stevia sweetened stuff I could make me some today and then here's a wish list this is limited edition it says summertime um, this is strawberry ice cream cone so these will probably go into look what color those are I'm just curious these will probably go into Easter stuff because I've got to do that I will probably let me know if you're interested in seeing a video of me putting together the Easter bags so I did that for Valentine's Day I'm gonna have to go back and look and see like if it was you know interesting to people um, if you feel like it'd be interesting let me know but I'm just curious okay and then these are Hershey Kisses birthday cake oh look how pretty can you see them they're white and they got like confetti they got like confetti in them does this one show what color oh yeah these are pink it looks like cool white and pink so those are wish list, especially the strawberry one. And then two more bags we have. And I'm working up a hot flash, so bear with me. Okay, so me and Fifi were looking through the Easter stuff, and I said, if you see anything that you would like in your Easter bag, drop it in the buggy, and you know. So she put this in there. It's Lifesavers Hard Candy Spring Mix. So she, she's always like lifesavers. Um, you get raspberry, watermelon, and pineapple. So you know those are gonna be good. This hard candy, lifesavers, raspberry, watermelon, and pineapple. It's a 3.2 ounce bag and she threw it in. So I said, okay. So the other day I bought this, or I bought Jack a net. Although this one has one too. To catch fireflies in and so I, I grabbed this. I thought I'd just stick it in our Easter basket. It's a backyard travels bug catching kit. So I thought this would be really cute to put in, you know, to put the fireflies in and let them all light up. You put 20 fireflies in that little container there and it's going to really light up. So it would just be cute to set it, you know, just camping out in the living room, you know, and then when she falls asleep, I can let the fireflies go or whatever. And then I've been getting her stuff together to do um, a food eating video, which I think I mentioned. So I grabbed this. It's the Carnival Twist Pops. So <laughs> this is, I have saw these like time and time again. And they also have the big round ones. But I've saw these time and time again and I never bought one. And then I was watching a food video the other day when a girl was eating one. I'm like, huh. I'm going to grab one of those, so Jack will be glad to see that. I'm going to pause this because I'm, I got to just hold on. Okay, sorry. The hot flash was getting real. Um, so anyway, I grabbed this birthday card. I was just walking by the cards, and of course this caught my eye just because it's stars. And it's all these stars saying, pick me, no me. Hey, over here. Pick me, pick me. No, choose me. I'm your star. And then when you open it up, it's so cute. It says, you're so nice. Every star in the sky wants to make your birthday wish come true. So I just thought that was really, really cute. I got several birthdays coming up. And I just thought it was super, super cute. So I had to get it. Not sure who it's going to go to yet, though. And then I saw these. They were new. And they had about three or four packs of different colors. I know I saw, like, a silver and black pack. And maybe, like, a green and orange as well. But all this is is a stylus pen. It's just a super value pack. You can use it to text with or, you know, just whatevs. And there's something, let's see. It's a phone easel. Yeah, it says it's a phone easel as well, which I'm not exactly. Sh oh, I sort of see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, let's try it out. But I record on my phone, so we can't try it out. But if you look at that middle picture, right there I don't know how they've got it done but it's a phone easel so that's kind of cool right and it's a writing pen as well stylus and a phone easel so I love those two colors the pink and the blue so I just grabbed those and then here's something else I got for Jack's ASMR video <laughs> purple peeps I love that purple color 
Yeah, peeps are really good sounding on those videos, so, and they taste, you know, I guess if you get the flavored ones, they might be a little bit better, but like those plain ones, I don't know. And then I also got this for Jack, me and Fifi wanted, was, was trying to find some stuff for her maybe to play with outside, and so Fifi got her a few things, because she's making her a little Easter basket, and then I decided to get her this, it's just a frisbee, and it feels like a pretty good made frisbee, and me and Fifi used to play frisbee all the time, so I feel like Jack would like to play frisbee, and the color is absolutely gorgeous, so they had a few different colors, so I did grab that for her basket. And then here's the other pack of stickers I got. These right here are fabuloso, baby. Look at them. Look at them. Check those out. Oh my goodness, aren't they fabulous? Yes, just candy. Just, well, there's a, looks like a donut, a couple donuts in there, but they are wonderful. I love them. So I grabbed them, grabbed them. Oh, yeah, and I actually needed one more of these because I think Creaky's going to play, too, whenever we play. So, we'll have, make sure everybody has a board. I've been working on the questions. I asked yesterday if some of you would send me, like, a few questions, like, on, you know, that I could use for that game. Um, who knows me best? So, uh, several of you did, and I've got a list working on it. So, yeah. And then I found a couple books. Oh, the last two, three, two items are books. And this one right here, okay, it says an international, the international bestseller. So first of all, that's why I got it. But now it says it's a major motion picture. It says the Leisure Seeker, and it looks like maybe Donald Sutherland and Shirley MacLaine, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if that's them or not. To me, that's who it looks like. But it says an authentic and funny love story. I'm going to see if I can find it because I love a good love story, a good romantic comedy. I just feel like, yeah. In their 80s, oh uh, yeah, it probably has, it might have a bad ending. I don't know, a sad ending. Oh, it sounds wonderful. Okay, I want to read it. Uh, the Robinas have shared a wonderful life for more than 60 years. Now in their 80s, Ella suffers from cancer and John has Alzheimer's. Yearning for one last adventure, the self-proclaimed down-on-their-luck geezers kidnap themselves from the adult children and doctors who seem to run their lives and steal away from their home in suburban Detroit on a forbidden vacation of rediscovery. And it looks like they... Um, or t taking an RV. It's probably going to be a really good book, I feel like. Frequently funny. I'm all for that. But yeah. And then this seems pretty cool to me. This is, I love to find Hungry Girl books there first. This, this is the Hungry Girl Clean and Hungry Obsessed. So all natural recipes for the foods you can't live without. So, there is some beautiful looking food in here, and it's all natural, so, like, that's really cool. Outside in chicken enchiladas. So, I think I'm going to, like, be making some of these recipes. So, these are more healthier versions of, you know, the unhealthy foods. So, barbecue chicken tacos, yes, please. Yes. That is, I mean, all of the white pizza-filled grilled cheese. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, yeah, um, so it says, these are all under 375 calories, wow, this is a fantastic, look how thick it is, this thing, let me see what it retailed for, because I know this was right here was a good deal, those Hungry Girl books, they are fabulous, you guys in there, hey, Hey. Okay, hold on. $21.99. Yeah. I, I should pull a... If you, if you ever saw that movie, Julia and... Julie, is it? Julia and Julie? I don't know. Something like that. The girl pick, like, does, like, every single recipe in the Julia Child cookbook. I should do every single recipe in this in this. Actually, I have another one I was thinking about doing, um, but it's a little bit different. But this is really cool. Gobble them up fajita burgers. 
Now, see, you use turkey burger, which is, you know, I'm switching from beef to turkey. You put, like, onion and bell pepper in there, egg whites, but different spices, and gobble them up fajita burgers, and you don't eat it with a bun. I mean, I, I think that sounds wonderful. If that don't look wonderful, what does? Gosh. Okay, guys, that is my haul, so... I've got to get off here because I have got to do the drawing for the two doll or sewing books that I totally forgot about. Yeah, so i got to do that really quick. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And, yeah, this is a pretty good haul. This is a pretty good size haul. And there's a lot more stuff. I'll be going back in a day or so, maybe tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!